All right, guys, I'm going to try to do another double unboxing. And I know you can't really see too much here, but once I get it all sorted out, you'll be able to see it fine. So this one here is from my buddy Jerry. And he is my 3D print guy. I've mentioned him numerous times. He's printed those glow-in-the-dark monsters there. Well, he created another creature. Check this out. So it's the turtle variant. Um, I don't know. I'll just grab a watch. Well, here. I'll grab this watch I actually need to do a video on really soon, the Borealis Cascaeus. So this guy will just fit just like that. And it holds your watch. It'll hold most watches just like that. It just drops right in. Easy peasy. So he printed this and then I believe he had his artist um, do some airbrushing on this because that's that's all painted. So I'll close out with a loom shot. Let's open up this other box. I mean, if you're going to be like hardcore into this hobby, you got to have some toys to go along with this stuff. So this one, honestly, I didn't recognize the the name on the tag but it came in a FedEx box some interesting packaging here let's see if I can open this up so if I just turn this open Maybe. I have not had anything wrapped up like this before. This is... Man, I don't know what this is. Okay. Let's... When I say I don't know what this is, it's because I get the packages when they come in. I don't. They, they don't have like standard addresses. Okay. So this is a uh, Feynman Time Keeps. Keepers. So this is a uh, microgram watch. I vaguely kind of remember talking to these guys. Wrapped really good. Let's get it out of here. Okay, here we go. Oh wow, check that out. Oh, this is a. Uh, yeah, I just talked to him about this. This is a manual wind. Check out that case pack. That's unique. So the glass goes all the way to like right there. And then there's metal underneath with the movement internally. And then an offset crown. That's pretty wild. There it goes. It's sticking away. I'm not sure what movement that is. It says Swiss movement. I'm not sure what movement that is. But it's nice to see a manual wind once in a while, right? I don't think there's any protective coating on there. It looks a little distorted, but it's not. And... Um, so you can see the offset seconds hand there spinning underneath the centerpiece. It's a pretty wild watch. Pretty trippy, but well built. And it's not it's not huge either. I'm guessing 39 maybe? Yep, 39 by 46. About 12 and a half thick. Nice size. Very cool looking watch. So... I'll do a full video on this as soon as I can. Yeah, as always, I'm like crazy far behind. But um, that's how it goes if I'm going to have uh, regular content, right? I wore, so I wore this um, this new GBX100 today. Guys, I, I need to do the video on this ASAP. Um, but spoiler alert, it, these are so good. The displays on them are so good. The rest of the features, I personally could care less about. I would like to see... Uh, maybe a square use this uh, style screen or something, or I guess whatever. I'll just use this style as a. I'll, I'll do. I'll wait for the whole video, but I, I did link it to the the app on my phone, and the notifications bugged me, and it just kind of reminded me of like a smartwatch. I didn't like that part, but the display is amazing. All right, let me kill the light so you guys can see this turtle glow. Yes. So you have like the the blue colored, almost BGW nine colored base and then you have all of like a C3 uh, colored um, turtle and then it matches the monsters and 
there's the Omega I was wearing when, once I got home. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks, Jerry, for sending over the turtle. I'll see you guys in the next vid.